I don't have time for testing. We've all thought it. We've probably all said it. And we certainly know of organizations that think it. There are some practices and some patterns which get in the way of us being productive as developers linked to testing. The first pattern I want to explore is writing tests for existing code. Now, this existing code might be something that we wrote a week ago, or it might be something that someone else wrote three years ago. Certainly, the latter case is more challenging, but even the former case where we wrote it a week ago, there's a good chance we've forgotten what we did and why we did it. Writing tests for existing code is challenging. We don't always know or remember what the code is supposed to do. We don't always know why it works in a particular way. We don't necessarily know which decisions were made and which trade-offs were made. And so we don't always know which tests to write for the code. What's usually more challenging about writing tests for existing code, particularly code that's not already tested, is that this code is usually very difficult to test. It's often difficult to poke it with the kinds of values that we want to poke it with and request their answers from it in order to ascertain what happened and did it work correctly. Code which has not been written with testing in mind is difficult to test. 